Hey, good evening, everybody. My name is Andy Lyon. I'm a public information officer here on the Swan Lake Fire, coming to you one last time uh, from our incident command post in Soldatna. Uh, we have a new team coming in to uh, take over the fire, and uh, so those of us who've been here for the last 21 days will be heading out over the next uh, day or two. But I want to give you an update about what's going on. Let's we'll start with the good news. Uh, it started raining earlier than uh, our incident meteorologist had thought it would, but uh, it rained mostly over the uh, western half of the fire here towards Soldatna, Sterling, Kenai Keys, and uh, we've had rain, uh, good steady rain on and off all day. It's still raining out there right now. Uh, bad news, uh, just intermittent showers over the Cooper Landing and the eastern side of the fire, um, but, uh, but there is moisture in the air and that helps uh, limit uh, fire activity. There's cloud cover as well, so the sun's not uh, shining down on uh, and heating things up. That limits fire activity. So very minimal fire activity today, and we don't see uh, the chance for much fire activity in the days ahead. There's still a chance for some uh, showers uh, in the Cooper Landing area tonight as this system uh, passes on through. We'll see whether or not we get any rain overnight, but uh, not as much as predicted. Also not as much as predicted was the wind. We thought there might be some strong winds uh, coming up uh, out of the southeast, but uh, that did not happen. It was some breezes, but not as much wind. So overall, good day. We still got hundreds of folks across this fire uh, working to finish things up. And uh, many of those folks will not be leaving. They'll be staying on and making sure that the, the work that needs to be done out there gets done. And one of the things that we're doing uh, is working on the, the recreation area on the Ski Lack Lake Loop Road. We know you want to get back in there. We know that uh, this is a favorite place for you folks, but uh, I went down it yesterday and there still are a lot of trees on the side of that road that have been damaged by the fire and, and could fall over. So we want to make sure that uh, the places that you enjoy so much are safe for you when you get back in there and the road uh, that you use is safe to travel. We would ask that whenever this road does open back up, remember that firefighters uh, will be still in the area and still be working along that road for quite some time yet. So uh, if you, whenever that happens, uh, be, be mindful of that. And we still have a lot of uh, folks uh, traveling up and down the Sterling Highway. So look out for them as well. Um, I think that's uh, about, oh yeah, the Russian River. Uh, we know you folks want to get uh, on the Russian River. We know you want more of uh, the Kenai River opened up. Again, we're working with our cooperating agencies, the Refuge, the Forest Service, Alaska State Parks, Alaska Department of Forestry. Uh, again, a lot of moving parts involved in an operation this big, and we want our folks and you to be safe when that happens, so please bear with us. As soon as we can open up uh, portions of your public lands, we will do so and we will let you know. I uh, want to mention uh, also the Caribou Lake Fire, which is down by Homer. We still got uh, one crew over there, and uh, you can just pick that up and move it. There you go. Whoa, safety first. Uh, Caribou Lake Fire down by Homer. We've still got a crew on there, but they're wrapping up tomorrow. So uh, this is just about fully contained, and we expect that to be 100% contained by the end of shift tomorrow. Uh, there is, um, they flew it with a, a drone, I believe, today, and, and didn't find uh, anything of concern near the edges. There's still some heat down in there, and... Um, but they're feeling really good about that, so the last crew is coming out tomorrow and I'm going to put a bow on the Caribou Lake fire. So we'll be back with you tomorrow with an operations update from one of our ops chiefs, and until then, thank you for watching.